Hey guys, so this is going to be kind of a different video. Um, it's kind of more like a health and lifestyle kind of vlog. Uh, let's see, where should I start? Like many people, my one of my New Year's resolutions was to like work out more and stuff like that. And I am, I am doing very good about working out more. But I just still am not getting the results that I want. And I think it's because <laughs> my eating habits are not the best. And I have a huge sweet tooth, so that is a problem for me a lot. I know it's okay to indulge yourself every once in a while, but I will do it like once a day or, you know, something like that. So, I decided that yesterday I found a video about a lady who ate all fruits and vegetables and some nuts and that's all she ate. It's called eating raw and I found that to be very interesting and I found like a lot of diets and stuff but I don't I want something that I can maintain and something that's reasonable for me to be able to sustain and make sure that I can just completely change my lifestyle not a, like a fad diet or anything like that and so today I think is gonna be out with the old and basically what I'd like to do is look at all the stuff that I have gotten at the grocery store and stuff like that and just evaluate what I have been eating in the past and um yeah so this this might be embarrassing but you know we are going to do this anyway so I am going to go ahead and look at everything that's in my fridge and pantry and um I live by myself in my parents' basement, so I usually eat what I have down here. Sometimes I'll go upstairs and eat, like if they're having family dinner or something like that. So, just so you know. Granola and yogurt, which has... 16 grams of sugar for one little thing of yogurt and strawberries, which is kind of ridiculous to me. I have um, these smoothies that I love to drink, and this one is a uh, green tea soy latte, and these have 24 grams of sugar per serving, and there's two servings in this, so there's uh, definitely no, no more candy, no more cookies, and no more fudge these probably aren't that bad for you but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those two um these uh oatmeal bars have 19 grams of sugar from one little square of oatmeal so i'm gonna go ahead and mostly the bad things that i have are just like sweets because i have a huge sweet tooth I decided i would keep for my kind of like transitional stage are um, natural popcorn. Um, natural popcorn. Uh, crackers. Brown rice. Some soups that are lower in sodium or natural. Um, chocolate covered peanuts. Protein bars. Green tea. And in here I have sugar-free jello, carrots and ranch, apples, V8, coffee, just in case I need it, um, cheese, lettuce, and this is just brown rice and chicken from yesterday's dinner. I don't want to put any of this food to waste, so I'm just going to put it upstairs in my family's <laughs> pantry, and if my brother and sister want to eat it, they can. It's kind of hard to say goodbye to cookies and just junk food in general, I guess, but I'm just keeping in mind that I feel like I'm going to feel so much happier about myself, and oh, just just to say, I don't, I don't want to at all lose weight. I'm very comfortable at the weight that I am right now. Um, and it is a healthy weight for um, my height and um, age. I think what I want is just to be a little bit leaner, maybe, and to be a, maybe look a little bit more toned. I think I would really like that. And um, yeah, so I just I would share the beginning of my journey with you guys today, 
and so and hopefully it will motivate some of you guys um I just feel overall I hope to um get more out of the workouts that I do because I feel like if you eat healthier and um, work out then you'll get a lot better results so I hope that's one thing I hope to have more energy and feel just better um, throughout the day um, because I feel like when you eat junk you feel like sluggish and stuff like that so I hope that will improve as well oh and also I kept telling myself what's well, okay it's okay I'll just transition but um, I definitely think the sooner you stop eating junk the faster your cravings will go away so I hear it's about two weeks before your food cravings go away, so I figure if I start tomorrow, tomorrow the two weeks will start until I can, you know, stop having cravings. But if I start today, today it stops. So, yeah, I just thought I'd add that. I thought I would share um, the beginning of my journey with you guys and let me know if you totally hate these videos and you don't want to see them. Um, let me know because then I, I won't make them, but uh, I kind of wanted to see like progression over time and um yeah also let me know if you really do like them and if you find that they're motivating and i will definitely keep making them so just let me know what you guys think in the comments below and yep yeah, i will see you later the next time i make a video okay bye